one of the things that, that happened, like in the second month, maybe that I was playing with them, they had a regular gig at, at a club in downtown D.C., the Georgetown section of, of D.C. called the Shamrock, and they basically worked up all their material there before taking it out on the road. And this was, uh, I think, by then, two nights a week. I think it was like Monday and Tuesday or Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, I think it was uh, like Monday and Tuesday nights from 9 to 1 or 9 to 2, maybe, because we did four sets. I'll tell you, after a night of that, it was like, ah, and then I have to come back in the next night. One of the nights I showed up with my mandolin, I come strolling through the door and people are whispering. And somebody come over to me and said, Duffy's in the house. And I said, oh, really? And uh, sure enough, right up, in not in the very front table, but maybe one back, uh, John and his wife Nancy were sitting there, and uh, I go directly to the kitchen area where, you know, we'd park our instrument cases and stuff like that, and I said to Eddie Adcock, John Duffy's out in the house tonight. He says, yeah, I know. Like, so what? You know, you know, you, you're in this job now. You got the job. He, he's the seldom scene hadn't started yet. So John was basically uh, doing repair work and, and instrument stuff uh, for uh, Arlington Music. I don't think he had intentions at the time of going back in the band business, but anyway, he wanted to. He was curious enough to come down and. Uh, catch me shaking in my shoes at the Shamrock. And the first set, I literally was. like I looked down at, at my pants leg, and it was waving like a flag, man. And he said, get over it, you know. it's You know what you're doing. Calm down, you know. And I said, oh. So I managed to get through that set okay, and then came out during the break, and John signaled me over to his table, you know, and, I met he, him and his wife, and he said, sit down, you know, have a seat, and join us. I'm sitting at the table with John Duffy, one of my heroes, and the guy that I'm <coughs> supposedly replacing, and I even hesitate to use that term because I'm, I, am, I am the kid off the street, and there's nobody filling that man's shoes, that's for sure. So I'm just trying to be me, and he says, I like what you're doing. Uh, you know, you obviously get the, the tenor range down. Uh, he, says, I, I, he says, I already heard the story from Charlie about your accent, so what can I say? I'm from Rhode Island. He says, well, you know, that, it'll come. Don't worry about it. He says, you, you're worrying about too much. And he says, that's, then if I can give you any tip at all, he says, it's, you know, you, you, your mandolin playing is great, but you, you're not selling it. And I said, what do you mean? He says, you are more technician. It, it appears that you are more of a technician than you are a showman. And I said, well, that's very likely. Because, uh, you know, I'm like only into the, my second month on this job. And he said, you got to be able to sell it. He says, uh, you know, it, it got me many years of uh, acclaim and uh and a reputation. He says, I was probably had a, a reputation of being a, a better showman than a mandolin player. And I just, you know, I just kind of rolled my eyes like I said, oh, I don't know about that. And, but, you know, because I hadn't seen him perform. You know, I didn't, I didn't know. Heard the records, but, you know, he says, work on that some. And for the next 50 years, <laughs> I worked on it. And I had to work on it because you know, I found out that I'm not a natural showman. I am more of a a guy that probably could play in many bands and did as a side man, as long as I didn't have to be the front man. And I didn't with uh, the gentleman either. Charlie assumed that after John left. And so he was kind of working on that too, you know. Charlie said, you know, I'm not a natural at this either, so... You know, if John tells you to work on your showmanship, he says, I'm trying to do the same thing, you know, with being the front man of this group because he did it all those years. He he did it all. You know, we were all kind of in the same boat. 